Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bingle Bingle. I'm now slowly starting to go, okay, I get it. I understand the system in the game, and I'm really enjoying it. So let's see if we can finally get a victory. Search party, plus 20 points in the first round. Five rerolls are free at the first shop. Investment, plus 20 points in the first round. Gain eight coins in the first shop. Lose five coins in the shop after the first boss. Uh, reach the, at least the first boss to gain more bonuses. I reset the previous game to get the music in the outro and then I reset so we only got two options here give me investment so plus 20 points in the first round gain eight coins in the first shop so if we just go color opposite color spin this will be 300 points then we get extra money in this shop so we've got our six tokens. Oh, we have mystery boxes now. Select one out of three items. More likely to be a normal item. Interesting, but they're dis I guess it's not always discounted because that's there. I do like multi-ball. I do like repeat ball. We've got 16 gold. Can't have it all. Let's take a normal item box. Select item. When the ball lands in 6 or 28, get 1.5x score. 1x increased by 0.1x when the heart ball ability is activated. Plus 20 points decreased by 4 times the number of pockets you have the most of. Alright, so we have the most of 1 of anything, so that is plus 16 points to us. I like that. And give me a multi-ball on one of those. Bet on a pack of 12 numbers. I'll do that. And then, is there anything here I really want to freeze? I do like a wave ball. A really early wave ball. Because they get bigger the more you play them. I did not want my multi-ball this early. So, let's invest in some colours. And then... Can we find... Oh, that was my dozen. We just throw. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Who was worried? I wasn't worried. 11 coins. The first bet of each round place additional 40 chips. That seems great. Behind the throne, when the highest level token is not used for the round, increase by 0.15. I also like that, but we can't afford to do much with it. So give me Pioneer. And let's change up some of these other bets. So this is plus 20 chips, but instead it's going to be plus 40 chips on red. So it's plus 60. And we need to pick a dozen. Each has six red and six black in them. And then we'll throw out the multi-ball. Alright. Easy stuff so far. Two times coin. 0 0.5 chips from gold bet. Longer Echo. We haven't seen Echo before. I do like a Super Ball. Big fan of a Super Ball. And a Target Ball. Give me a Super Ball somewhere. And with five other chips. Let's upgrade that Super Ball. Reroll here for something if there's anything really good we want. I love the idea of doing a favourite pocket run. I know we have the commons, but if we can make the favourite pocket run work, that seems like it'll be very interesting. Every time you use a discard token, your tokens are shuffled. Not necessarily a bad thing. First bet gets plus 60 chips. I would rather multi-ball. Smashed it. 
That opening bet for plus 40 is huge. Freeze 75 pockets. I only have 36 pockets. Reward 1.0 times, increased by 0.1 per frozen pocket. Pocket with bet placed will not be frozen. Every round, your first used token is registered. Clear one round using only the registered token. Reward. Copy and add three registered tokens. Registered tokens have 1.5x value. Monochrome. Have 36 pockets of the same color. Reward. Bets on the majority color add 3x chips. Uh, okay, we'll go monochrome. There is our quest. And the goal... Ah, oh, we didn't have enough money for favorite pocket. Okay, well we can decide what our favorite pocket is going to be. Let's make our favorite pocket plus five points when you win a color bet. Okay, let's do that. And I want to pick a prime number or something interesting to be my next one. So spend four or three doing that, then lock these and go again. We're going to get this online. We will. The red ones really paying off there. 13 gold, right? So now we can afford this. These are not the pockets I want. I want like a prime pocket or a perfect number or something really interesting. But the longer I wait to find it, the tougher it's going to be. I can't even remember what the perfect numbers are. But we got, we got time. We got time. Super Bowl. 12 dozen. Plus 40 chips. First dozen. And black. And red. And second dozen. And then we want to find multi ball. Eleven is the right number. Good. Wave ball also increased chips. Wave ball ability triggered more than once. Normal item box. All right, we can't keep waiting on this. So let's go. Red 28 over... Um, let's go over small numbers first. 3x slot appeared. From now on, three times pockets appear in the shop. Oh, like triple wedges is that. Interesting. Level up my multiball. Level up my dozen. More special bets unlocked. So many things are happening. All right, you're waiting on 36 colors. We're gonna get there. We now have two 28s. So 28s will always appear. I wonder if they'll always be red or not. Oh, I should have checked that first, shouldn't I? All right, so more on reds. Then some on blacks. Then more on the big numbers. Look for multi-ball. Where's multi-ball? Where's multi-ball? Uh, I'm confused. But everything was fine. I didn't need multi-ball. Who needs multi-ball? Okay, so I have a red 28 here. So I can replace a small black number with a large red number. Um, I also do want to get to red as fast as possible. I have six I can roll. Select three pocket and change it all to nine is very interesting. There's more 28. Uh, small black numbers. And more 23. 
And I will lock that because that's super interesting to me. Every time you use a token, your tokens are shuffled. Fine. Level up the big numbers because we've been making more big numbers. Uh, let's go red on those. Shuffle. Uh, I'll throw a Super Bowl. Big red number. Love to see it. Not quite enough to do it in one hit, but that's fine. Shuffle. Shuffle again. Great stuff. Remove one token from deck. Freeze four pockets. Three more discards per round. Removing a token is interesting. Let's do it. Let's remove a normal ball, level zero, color bet. All right, so this nine can replace... I assume it's going to do the two flanking ones. I want to get rid of small numbers, though. There aren't really small numbers left. Hold, hold on. Can it be any three? Oh, that's super interesting. Okay. What is that? Early winter. When an ice bet is placed, randomly freeze pockets as if the ball landed in one of its pockets. Uh, Reroll me. Give me another red. So we're at 27 of 36 on red. We just got to get there soon ish. Loads of points for the big third. Stick some points in there. Let's go big points on the second third as well. And then multi ball me. 4,500. Super Bowl me. Love it. Right, that was not a boss encounter, so we do get all of our cash. Uh, clearly, I want a triple red 24. Then I want another red 9. We have two gold left. That is not worth freezing. Fine by me. Okay. We are getting rid of those small numbers. Bet on reds, please. Oh yeah, by far bet on reds. Right, two tokens left, but a bunch of discards. And with only five cards, we know we're going to shuffle. 30 is bottom third. 5,000 points. I need my multi-ball. You're going to hit 34. You're going to hit 27. You're going to hit 21. Multi-ball. This better be enough, or I'll be mad. 6,000. Oh, we're 200 points short. Ah, brutal. Okay, we did investment last time. Rushed upgrade. Three tokens are upgraded. They cost one more to be upgraded further. Alpha token. Alpha token is so good. Replace a normal token with a random token with the alpha perk. Alpha perk, we always draw it first. Let me take off my hoodie. We've got a large ball. Ten base points. Mirror, high, low. What's mirror, high, low? Select 1 to 18 or 19 to 36, plus 20 chips. The selected bet decreases chips and randomly adds normal version of this bet 1.5 value. I don't follow it at all, but we'll see what happens. Give me the baby numbers. And some red. And some black. We know we're going to hit 31 black. Black. 
600 points. Sold. All right, let's try and understand this. Mirror, high slash low. Select high numbers or low numbers, plus 20 chips. The selected bet decrease chips and randomly add normal version of this bet with 1.5x value. Yeah, I don't entirely understand that, I'll be honest. What is this? When no discard is left, plus 10 points to the ball. Pocket ball, roll a ball. Register the pocket where the ball lands permanently. If already registered, change the pocket to the registered pocket. All right, let's experiment with it because I don't understand it and we won't learn without testing. And you can have a split number on you. So we know we always get the alpha ball first. I'm going to split across 13, 14. We have three left. Let's split on red. No discards. Why don't I have discards? Should I have discards? Or did I use my discards? I am confused. All frozen pockets, chips times 0.1 is added. We don't have any way of freezing right now. We can make a bunch of stuff into 15s. Let's do the big numbers because we know we can do top half of numbers, right? Um, I love multiball. Lock for multiball. So, we've eliminated three of the big numbers. We take the small numbers. Pocket ball. Should we roll the pocket ball and see what happens? Oh, zero discards for the first three rounds. That's why we don't have zero. Why we have zero discards. So we rolled on to twenty-one. Feels like nothing happened. Thank you for the red. Gets us there. Good. I wanted... I froze for multi-ball. So let's take multi-ball. And then... We can take a little black 6 to replace a big red 34. And you know what? I'll play. I'll replace a little number with a... Did I want to do that? I probably didn't want to do that. Where did my brain go right in that moment? Freeze three random pockets after token use. We have discards again. That's good. Why am I freezing red when I have all of this black... I don't know. Show me a good ball. Pocket ball 21. So you now say pocket ball bracket 21. Roll a ball worth five points. Register the pocket where the ball lands. If already registered, change one pocket to register pocket. So, okay. So I'm going to roll this and it's going to make a number into red 21. Yes. Okay. Interesting. We need a thousand points. This is our last ball. We have one discard, but... We'll do that with a big ball. We lose. Okay. One last run for today. Investment, rushed upgrade, rainbow token. Replace a normal token with a random token with alpha perk. Yeah. We love this. Wave ball. Oh, such an early wave ball. So this grows its value over time. Flash line. What is a flash line? Bet on six numbers horizontally, plus 60 chips, increased by times three. This bet is cancelled after scoring once. All right, well, we're just going to always throw the wave ball. Every time. 50 points. Then, colour here. Colour there. 
throw again. I'm not sure how useful Archer is when it tells you where you're going to hit after you've already spent all your options. That's what I don't really understand. I don't love this fragile line. I do want to upgrade this so that it grows bigger faster. When a ball lands in pocket, 6 or 28 are the perfect numbers. Let's just do that, and we'll take a high-low. Hundo, 50 points. Red. High-low. Let's do low. Then we really want to hit a low red number. Three! Great times we had. Okay, what else do we want? Another wave ball. Echo corner. Bet on four numbers in a square. This bet lasts until next round with reduced value. Longer echo. Echo bet also adds bet after one. Echo bet also adds bet after one more round. Um, roll a ball. If the ball lands in a pocket with no chips from bet, receive a round token back. I guess that's just kind of a free a free spin if you don't hit very much, but in the late game that's not going to be so useful, I think. Let's take another one of you and level up that guy. Wave ball base 20 points. 200. I need to change the bet on that one, I think, to something not fragile. I have no discards. That's a problem for me. But we're okay. We'll get our discards back soon. Mirror column. Column. Echo Street. Right, let's change this to be not fragile. Seven and nine. Seven and nine are in the same row. Bet on three numbers horizontally. This bet lasts until the next round with reduced value. All right, give me... Where's seven and nine on this wheel? There's seven. Let's do... Seven, 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 nine. Give me nine here. Then I want to lock this to take Echo Street to play on seven and nine. Freeze three random pockets after using a token. So we can now do this in a column. Uh, we should probably do the one that we haven't ripped numbers out of. And we'll do the low numbers because we've got more sevens and nines. Then we'll do reds because we've gotten rid of some blacks. Then we'll look for good tokens to throw. Excellent stuff. Okay. We get a quest now. We do. Have 36 pockets of the same color. Freeze 75 pockets. Clear five rounds with spinning at least four times. Let's try monochrome again, because we're already on a good start for that. We're at 22 of 36. I wanted to buy Echo Street. 
for 789. Let's take the two. We'll build away from the 789 corner. Bet on high or low. We can bet on low. But we can also bet on red, so that doesn't really help. Plus 35 points when spinning when winning a split bet not great love a super ball love a large ball love a 35 so give me those so this column red and low then Echo Street for three. We want the 789. Now we need to find good balls. 789. Eight might not be seven or nine, but it's in between them. What were we going to buy? We were looking at Super Balls. We need more red as well. We can afford both. Uh, you're a normal ball, but you don't have a level or anything, so let's do that. Reroll, all black. Love multi-ball, but not right now. Third column. Red. Low. Show me. Oh, that was Echo Street. I was not paying attention. Seven. Smashed it, mate. Love seven. Okay. Tiny red two. Seems good. Let's put it... There. Bet on six numbers horizontally. Can include seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, or something. Wave ball also increases chips of affected bet permanently. We have two wave balls, so that seems like a good investment. Perk unlocked. From now on, token perks appear in the shop. We got so much stuff in the shop now. Right, column three. High low, low. Uh, wave ball. I think I just throw it. Discard that guy. Super ball. I don't think we need it right now. Echo street on 789. Wave ball. Nine. Smashed it. Easy game, mate. Easy game. Right, we still need 11 more reds. When a ball lands in a pocket 8, the next ball is rolled twice. Item box. We could keep leveling up our balls as well. But I'm going to look for more reds. Ah, oh, you are too expensive, but I will freeze you for sure. Right. Uh, lock that. Don't re-roll by mistake. Let's change you to high-low because we love the low. Outrage. Every time you use a token, your tokens are shuffled. Totally fine with that. Do we always get the alpha one back? Is that what is happening here? Twenty six hundred. Alpha one comes back. <laughs> oh, that's fun. 
Remove one token from deck. Play one more token per round. Clone a token. Well, we always clone... Where's the alpha? Alpha. We clone the alpha. Simple decisions. Right, we want to take all this red. One. Two. Three. This red. Shop has three left in it. That's all not red. Right, we've got five reds left to get through. Let's hope we can get there. So, column. Other column. Let's throw the super. 1500 points is not that strong. High low, we go low. We have two left. Echo Street seems so dangerous. Uh, we're going to hit eight. We need eight on Echo Street, so we just throw the ball. Oh, come on. All right. Another chance at victory squandered. For now, I'll leave you with the music and say thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the game, let me know as I'm having a great time with it. I really want to get to this victory and see what other stuff they come as the game, as they come. See what other stuff comes along as the game goes through early access. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.